Welcome back, viewers. Found the key I was missing. It was in this room. <sighs> What's also kind of funny about this place is it, when you come out of the, uh, when you come out of the rooms, the walls will be visible for a few seconds. Oh, bollocks. I don't know why I'm panicking. Fire! Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Bet you can't run from me. But yeah, that's that's literally all you have to do. You, you get in there, and at least for me, anyways, I, I, like when I was a kid, I, I could not for the life of me figure out what the hell you were supposed to do with that. Like it, it, it confounded me. Then of course, lo and behold, I figured out. Oh wait, didn't fire. That looks kind of wooden. You got the boss key. Fucking twix, man. Always love this shit. Let's get the hell out of here. That one box I was missing way back there was some arrows, because that's actually where I went first to check. But now that I've got the goddamn boss key... Hmm... Whee! Okay. Actually, I think you need both arrows and... You need both arrows and, uh, this for the fight. The, uh, Lens of Truth, that's what it is. And, even though I say it's useful and all that fun stuff, take off the hover boots. Actually, I'm gonna put the iron boots on just that way I can go, Wee! It's a much faster follow up. But I actually do love this boss, because it's so innovative for its time. Phantom Shadow Beast, bongo bongo. All in all, this boss actually isn't too hard in and of himself. Fail. Oh well, yeah, just like that. Boss fight's done, but I, I still like the boss fight because you're bouncing around the arena because you're on a giant bongo. This this, I, this boss fight that I always liked even as a kid. Well, 
of course, with the Great Goron Sword, or the Big Goron Sword, or whatever, or what have you, this boss fight is made exorbitantly easier. And that, my viewers, was the last of the Sage Temple bosses. Yo, Wimpa, hadn't seen you since the beginning of the game. I gotta say, I do like this version of Impa over most others. And the uh, Impa in Zelda 1 was just some old hag who you could buy potions off of. Impa in all the other games is, is some obese lady. Sure, she's technically qualified as the protector of Zelda, but she does jack shit to actually protect her. So, it's, it's all just, this so far is just the best version of Impa. Though I've heard that they gave Impa a new form in Skyward Sword, so I'll have to check that out, but beyond that, this is so far still my own personal favorite form just because it doesn't look like some old hag or some obese witch. At any rate, we finally have the final medallion. So happy. Oh, stole your quote! Haha! <laughs> Shadow Medallion. You look out for the princess. I've got other stuff to do. What happens if you go try and go to the castle before you go to the Temple of Time? Guess I'll find out soon. Like now. I'm gonna try that. If you just you if you use the song, you'll just be immediately transported into cutscene. So I'm gonna have to walk there. But beyond that. I gotta, kinda gotta think of, uh, accidentally pulling out different weapons. Whee! Oh man, viewers, I actually cannot wait till next month. Actually, exactly 31 days from now, I think, or maybe it's 30. Either way, November 8th. At the moment, I am recording this. Today is September 8th. Wait, September, October, October. Damn it, I'm off by one month. Okay, two months away. Either way, Halo 4, all that fun stuff should be interesting to see. Excuse me. I got something to test. Let's see what I can do with the ice arrows. Nope, you can't freeze water with it, so ice arrows are apparently just for doing extra damage, and of course freezing enemies, but beyond that, it's, I don't know, I just don't see any purpose for the ice arrows beyond freezing enemies and doing slightly more damage. So let's see what happens if we try and come here first. 
That's right, I haven't actually came here yet. Because somehow Link has never seen this giant fortress from outside Hyrule. Outside of this one specific screen. Ganon's Castle. And apparently if I try and come here before actually activating that other cutscene, I won't be able to move on. Okay, so let's get this cutscene in, in the recording, and start up what I can only assume is the last one or two recording sessions in this game. To the Temple of Time! All four. No, I cannot. Cutscene. Really? What? Surprise butt sex? Uh huh. Yeah, that's me. You're an evil kid. Not this again. Was this the third time that we've seen this? I get the abridged version, please. You know, you'd think with all of Zelda's quote wisdom that she would be able to see Ganon coming and fuck up shit and just basically go into hiding. Not like she did in this game and in Wind Waker, but just from the very start of the game, Ganon, actually they did do that in Wind Waker, but wouldn't come out of hiding, basically. And that's what I meant by not like in Wind Waker either, because in the beginning of the game, Zelda is in hiding in that game as well, but beyond that, no Zelda game has actually had Zelda in hiding at either be the beginning to the very end or uh, at, at it, you, you think Zelda would be smart enough to go oh hey Ganon exists in this realm I should probably not come out of hiding ever until he's you know dead Alright, what are you getting on to, Sheik? Dude. Just shut up so I can go kick Ganondorf's ass. You lust for ass. As if y'all didn't see this coming, viewers. Yes, Sheik, the guy is actually Zelda, the woman. Whose tits are just about the same size as when she was a kid. At least they look to be, anyways. Get on with it, woman. I got other important stuff to do. I 
Little do you know, Link. I can actually only see in black and white. But I failed. Of course, then you get if uh, get into the section of people who will say the reason why Zelda does all this doesn't go into disguise or anything like that is because it's been planned out by the three goddesses of Hyrule or something like that. Which is understandable considering with uh, Zelda's fuck up at the end of this game. Oh, shocker! We give out spoilers here! Sending us back in time, forcing Din or Nehru or one of the goddesses to flood the place. Because, you know, Link won't be able to come rise up and defeat Ganon. But this is an old game. If y'all don't know the story by now, y'all really shouldn't be watching my channel. But I'm going to be giving spoilers out at every chance I feel like. Now what's kind of funny is th this, this section, uh, the, the final, final boss, and I'll get into this a little bit later, but the, the funny part about it is if you don't have the big Goron sword, it's almost impossible to actually, uh, almost impossible to actually something or other. Eh, give me a second, viewer. Terribly sorry about that. Uh, it, it, you know what, I'll just explain it when I get to the final boss. Final, final boss. Where did the sound go? That sounds off for some reason. Huh. I'll have to figure this out after the episode's over. Whoa, Bow Chicka Bow Wow, Link's cop tried to cup a feel. You know, I bet that's got to be the most expensive rupee in the world. Like, worth a 5,000 rupees or something. Well, uh, we'll see y'all next time. Over at Ganon's Castle. Cheers, viewers.